What's up guys, I'm going to do another Black Ops 2 video, and this time I'm going to be talking about the possibility of a 5th DLC. So, back around July or so, I was planning on making this video, but uh, for whatever reason I decided not to, and yeah, so uh, this video, like I said, it's about the possibility of there being a 5th DLC for Black Ops 2, and yeah, so let's get on to why I think there will be. So first up, uh, there was some uh, like leaked information. Well, there was a uh, source in the game code uh, that said uh, like DLC underscore five, and so people, a lot of people, just immediately thought, boom, DLC five confirmed. Uh, except that the season pass covers it says get four like epic map packs for uh, forty nine ninety nine, and. Uh, so, one, I think that if there was a um, fifth DLC, either the season pass holders would have to get it for free, or there wouldn't be one at all, because that wouldn't be fair to season pass holders at all if there was uh, another DLC that just comes out. They're like, oh yeah, hey, uh, we got another DLC, so yeah, maybe you should fork over some more money. So... Uh, a lot of people would hate that since they already forked over, you know, $110 for the game. That's including the season pass, and then they're gonna have to fork over another 15. Um, also, a lot of people thought it'd be a zombies-only DLC, and that it might include like all the Black Ops 1 maps, all the World at War maps, something like that. Um, but yeah, so another thing is, uh, if you look at Call of Duty Ghosts. Right now, at on the Xbox 360, it has around a hundred and fifty thousand people online. That's pretty average for uh, ghosts on the Xbox 360, and I would assume it's around the same for the PlayStation 3. Um, and sometimes it jumps up to maybe like three hundred thousand if there's like a double XP weekend or if there's like a DLC or something. Um, Speaking of DLC, I actually, when I uh, was downloading and playing uh, Onslaught when it first came out, there was only like 50,000 people online, which was really surprising. Um, but a couple of days later, it jumped up to like 300,000, 350,000. Uh, yeah. So, uh, then if you go back to Black Ops 2, there is around 200,000, 250,000 people online on that. So, there is almost equal or greater amount of people playing Black Ops 2 than there are Call of Duty Ghosts. And, uh, once again, I would assume it's around the, the same for uh, the PlayStation 3. Uh, this also is kind of because of the all the systems they have. They got Xbox 360, PS3, Wii U, uh, PC, uh, Xbox One, and PS4. So they got all these different systems that people can be playing Call of Duty Ghosts on. But it, uh, there is still just a lot more people playing Black Ops 2 in previous Call of Duties than there are Call of Duty Ghosts. And uh, recently they released the uh, couple new personalization packs for it. Um, since Treyarch has three years to make their game, uh, you know they can afford to, uh, you know, spend uh, some time de designing a couple camos to put in. And you know. Since they, I this is the first time in Call of Duty history they're supporting a previous game, so they're going back and adding in more DLC and stuff. So, you know, what do you guys think about this? Do you think there will be a fifth DLC for it? Um, I think there. I I'm not exactly sure. I think I know that there will be more personalization packs. I mean, come on, uh, pretty much just free money for Activision. Activision loves their money, so you know they're gonna really. Uh, want to have more personalization packs for both Ghosts and uh, Black Ops 2. And, yeah, so I think if they were to release a uh, a new DLC, instead of, like, r remakes of old maps, uh, multiplayer and zombies, I would rather have it just be, you know, four new multiplayer maps and one zombies map that's brand new. Um, since Treyarch has three years to make a, a game then, you know, I think they can spend maybe, like, two, three weeks, however long it takes them to design a DLC and all the maps and stuff. I think it might be, like, a month, a month and a half. I don't know. Uh, I think they can sacrifice that amount of time to make one last DLC for uh, Black Ops 2, and I think that would really be awesome, and that would sort of help 
us zombie fans out, sort of like hold us over until Treyarch's next game because, you know, zombies is really stale right now because you, you know, you can, there's not a lot of people playing it and, you know, we're going to have to wait like a whole another year and a half before we can uh, play new zombies maps again. And, uh, it's really frustrating that, one, I didn't want this to happen. I wanted Treyarch's game to be this year. But at the same time, Treyarch will be able to make a big and better just overall game. It'll be a lot better. And um, I will be looking forward to that. But I, I think I would just really like to see another DLC, another Zombies map for it right now. And yeah. So tell me what you guys think about all this in the comments down below. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.